Yo, what is going on guys? Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about why the sports card market is a very, very strange place. But before we get into that, let's plug the giveaway as usual. We're giving away a 2018 Juan Soto update rookie card. All you guys have to do to win this is be publicly subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications, and comment your MLB hot takes for 2022. Winner's going to be picked May 1st or May 2nd. So there's that. Another thing before we get into it, I'm going to start doing membership giveaways. So like I explained in yesterday's video, if you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's a good video. If we get 100 members each month, I will give away a hobby box. Um, whatever hobby box comes out that month. So like next month is 2022 uh, Donner's Baseball, so I will give away a hobby box to one member. So really, it's a raffle, but you get perks. So you get an extra video a week, a shout-out in every video, access to breaks when I do card breaks, and other things like that. So really, it's a raffle. You get a chance to get a hobby box for 5 bucks, which is really good. And you know what's pay shipping or nothing? I'll ship it out to you and everything like that for 5 bucks. So now let's get into the topic of today's video. So today's topic is... The card market. Now, I think we could talk about any sport, but we're going to talk. We're just going to be talking about baseball because we're a baseball channel over here. But this can go for any sport. Is it the, the sports card market is a very strange place, and I'm going to tell you what I encountered today that inspired me to make this video. Okay, so I was scrolling through eBay just to try to find some good Hayes deals. You know, I'm a key Brian Hayes guy. I PC him. Um, he's doing great this year. I highly recommend you pick up his stuff while it's cheap because I guarantee it won't be cheap much longer. Uh, people start to see what he's doing. I'll also invest in CJ Crone, by the way, just an off, to off topic thing. Invest in CJ Crone while you can. He leads the league right now. And I think OPS and homers for sure, maybe RBIs as well. Um, I would invest in him ASAP as well. His stuff's cheap. So do that. But Back to the normal topic. Going through the market, and I'm looking at different lots and autographs and things like that. So I stumble across a Hayes autograph. And it's just a autograph from Gypsy Queen, okay? This particular seller, and that's not graded or anything. This particular seller wanted $39.99 with free shipping for this Hayes autograph, okay? So I'm like, oh, okay. We could maybe find something a little bit cheaper. You know, I'd have to have a Gypsy Queen autograph. I could have maybe went with like a, a Donruss autograph or a Chrome autograph or things like that. And then I keep on scrolling. And I find another autograph, which is the exact same card, for $89.99. So that got me thinking. So what I did after that is I typed in 2021 Topps Gypsy Queen Key Brian Hayes autograph to filter you know, that particular card. And what would you know? The reason I'm making this video is for this very point I'm going to say. Every person is charging a different price for the autograph. Like, it's the same card, right? And it's all different prices. I saw one for $20, which I bought. I saw one for $39. I saw one for $80. Like, and these are all, like, recently posted, too. Like, typically how eBay works is, let's say, for example... I don't know. Let's throw out 2022 Top Series 1 Blaster Boxes. So right now on eBay, you could probably pick one of these up for about $25 with free shipping. So in, in theory, you're paying $20 because it probably takes about $5 to ship that. So you're really paying retail price for one of those, right? What I'm trying to say here is when Top Series 1 first came out, like let's say the first week. So the first week... I didn't check the prices of this stuff because I was going to buy stuff on eBay if I couldn't find it. But as you guys know my story by now, I found a whole hanger box uh, case, which you're seeing right here to the side of me. Um, I would assume it was probably $50 or $60 a blaster box. I would assume. I, I don't know. I would like to take a guess. That's what, probably what it was. But as time goes by and more people start listing that certain uh, item... The price will naturally drop due to competition, right? So the question I have with this is, if this Hayes card, right, let's say 
the most I would have paid for is twenty dollars, which I which I like I said I paid I bought the one that was twenty bucks. Um, naturally, competition would drive down the price. So why would one be eighty? Why would one be forty? Why would one be twenty? Does that make sense to you guys, or is that just not is that not adding up to me? You know, competition drives down the sports card market, and you know. It's all subjective, right? At the end of the day, sports card market, like the market is subjective. What one person may think is $20 may think, another person may think it's five, you know? So at the end of the day, the sports card market is a very, very strange place. Like if you want to buy singles, like thoroughly check eBay because I learned my lesson. I was about to pull the trigger on that one for $40. And I, luckily I didn't because then what I did was I, like I said, I searched up the particular uh, card and I looked through the listings and I found one that was the cheapest I could find because there was a bunch around $20 and there was a couple around $30 to $40 as well. And there was a couple like the $60 to $80 range, but which like, like no one was going to buy those. If there's some out there for 20, why would someone pay $80? Like, you know, so at the end of the day, the point I'm trying to make in this video, and I hope you learned from this is if you plan on buying singles off eBay, thoroughly check. Like, you know, like here's another example. Here we have a, you probably can't see it well on the video, but here we got a Brian Reynolds Stadium Club autograph from 2020, I believe. Let me check the back of the card. Yeah, so it's 2020. So this was, um, I got this on eBay, I think around my birthday last year. You could very barely tell it's autographed um, on the video, but in person you could see it pretty well. Um, this card right now on eBay is probably about, I don't know, $30. Reynolds is the key piece of the Pirates' future, along with Hayes. And this card was going for a lot of different prices, too, uh, at the end of last season after he had a stellar 2020 performance, or 2021 performance. So the point I'm trying to make in this video is do your research before you buy cards on eBay so that way you guys don't get gypped on pricing. Another example right here. I bet you this card's probably worth, I don't know how much, but here we got a Riley Green autograph, major scale from 2021. It's I think it's, what is it? What's the product? I forget what it's called. It's, um... It's the uh, minor league cards. Oh, I forget the name. I'm drawing a blank. But it was, it's it's the auto, it's the box with the four autographs. I, I I'm totally drawing a blank right now. Uh, this is gonna pain me until I figure it out. Now, oh, and I have some other cards from this set over here as well. Here's some other autographs from that box. You just pull them over here. Oh, okay, it's pro debut. Okay, so yeah, it says pro debut right there. So. Riley Green autograph right now, considering he broke his foot, is probably cheaper than what it was a couple weeks ago. Like I said, the point of this video, and some of you guys may say this could be a useless topic, which is completely fine. I understand some guys know more than others, but for the people out there who, you know, who didn't, you know, know these certain topics, that's why I make these videos. So the topic, in conclusion, of today's video is do your research before you buy a particular card on eBay, because guess what? I guarantee you could find one that's cheaper on a different site, cheaper in general on that same site, or you could snipe one at the last second on a bid. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it informable. I just wanted to make a video today. I have really no other topics to make a video about except this one because I thought this would be interesting for some people. So guys, that is it for this video. To wrap it up, do the Juan Soto rules for the giveaway. Winners picked in like no more than I think 10 or 11 days from now. And I am doing a hobby box giveaway if we get 100 members on the channel. So that is that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.